Growing up in Reims, France, Robert Pires struggled during his school years, showing little interest in academic subjects. He was disinterested in formal education, and while he had moments of engagement with subjects such as math and geography, his true passion was always in sport. After finishing school at the age of 15, Robert Pires enrolled in a two-year sports degree program at the Stade de Rem and began working towards his goal of becoming a professional footballer. In 1992, he left Reims and joined the Youth Academy of Metz. It was under the guidance of the reserves team coach Philippe Hinschberger that Pires was first moved from the right wing to the left wing. In an interview with the French Football Weekly, Pires recalls his coach recognizing his potential as a left winger, despite him not being naturally left-footed. This move proved to be a turning point in Pires's career, as he went on to establish himself as one of the best left wingers in the game. With Pires flourishing as a key player on a team full of ambition, Metz performed well in Ligue 1 for several seasons. In the 1997-98 season, they came close to winning the league title for the first time in the club's history, but ultimately fell short. Despite the disappointment, Metz still had memories of winning the Coupe de Ligue two years earlier, which was Pires's first taste of glory. Pires found himself in the midst of intense emotions and pressure as the World Cup was held in France in 1998. Over the course of the tournament, the French team, including Pires, were transformed from mere players to legends as they eventually became world champions, creating a unique moment in French history. Although Pires's playing time during the tournament was limited to occasional substitute appearances and he did not play in the final, he still contributed to this historic achievement for his country. Pires was not only rewarded with a World Cup winner's medal, but also with a transfer to a powerhouse of French football Olympique de Marseille. Even though playing for Marseille at the Stade Vélodrome is considered a career highlight for many players, Pires found the transition difficult. He found the atmosphere at Marseille to be quite different than the smaller crowd that he was used to at Metz, describing as it was going from a more traditional to a more flashy environment. At Metz, Pires felt like he belonged. The environment allowed him to develop as a player. In contrast, at Marseille, Pires struggled to adapt and had to work hard not to become overwhelmed. When examining his first season in southern France, there were many accomplishments to be proud of. Pires and his team came close to winning the league title and reached the final of the 1998 UEFA Cup, losing to a highly skilled Parma team. At the end of the second season, when Marseille finished 15 and barely avoiding relegation, Pires and his club's owner mutually decided to end their partnership and he left the club in June 2000. Prior to searching for new opportunities, he had to focus on the European Championship, where France impressed with their performance. Although he had a limited role, he made the most of his time on the pitch by assisting David Trezeguet in scoring the winning goal in the final against Italy. Pires's time at Marseille had been difficult and had not resulted in the success he had hoped for, so his transfer value was relatively low at £6 million. Any team that signed him would be getting a player who was a world and European champion and had reached the prime of his career as a talented winger. He drew interest from clubs like Real Madrid and Juventus, but decided to join Arsenal, where he would have the opportunity to learn under the guidance of Arsene Wenger and play alongside many of his fellow French teammates. Pires' first season at Arsenal was a challenging one, both on and off the field. He faced intense scrutiny for not being able to fully showcase his abilities. The summer of 2001 proved to be a turning point for him. He emerged as an even more talented player, with a refined technique and an ability to create and score extraordinary goals. In his favorite position on the left wing, Pires developed a seamless relationship with Ashley Cole and Thierry Henry, dominating their opponents with both his defensive play and his ability to score and assist. He was able to start and finish attacks with ease and became a key player in the team, helping Arsenal win the league and cup double, contributing with 13 goals. His playing style often consisted of a three-step process, cutting in, shooting and celebrating. The variety in his moves and finishes were always unpredictable, sometimes with power and pace, other times with finesse. His celebrations were equally varied, sometimes exuberant and other times more subtle, conveying his confidence in his abilities. He also proved to be an amazing team player, providing multiple assists and his presence on the field helped the team run smoothly. 
Unfortunately, his second season with Arsenal was cut short due to a serious injury, but his outstanding performances during that season earned him the Footballers Writers Association Footballer of the Year award despite missing several months of play. His injury prevented him from playing in the 2002 World Cup, where France, the holders and one of the favorites were eliminated in the group stage. In the 2002-2003 season, Robert Pires was able to return to full training in November and had a good season as he was able to score 14 goals in the league and ended the season on a high by scoring the winning goal in Arsenal's FA Cup final victory against Southampton. The 2003-2004 season, Pires was at the top of his game, scoring 14 goals and providing 7 assists, making him one of the team's top contributors. Alongside teammates like Thierry Henry and Patrick Vieira, he brought a touch of French flair and excellence to the team, helping them achieve an unbelievable season by finishing unbeaten in the league and conquered the Premier League without a single loss. In his last season with Arsenal, the 2005-2006 campaign, Pires' performances standards had dropped, the competition in the league had changed and the team's goal was to secure fourth place rather than winning it. In spite of the changing landscape of the Premier League, Pires and his teammates continued to make history by reaching the Champions League final. Unfortunately, his Arsenal career ended in disappointment in the final, as he was forced to leave the field in order for his team to bring on a replacement goalkeeper after Jens Lehmann's early red card. It was the lowest point of his career. This marked the end of his relationship with Arsenal, as he signed for Villarreal that summer and went on to play for four more years in Spain with mixed level of success. He did not score as frequent as he did in Arsenal, but he was a key player for the team, contributing to their success both on and off the field. He helped the team to secure several important victories and was well liked by his teammates and coaches. Additionally, his experience and leadership played a significant role in the development of the younger players on the team. Even with his advancing age, Robert Pires continued to show his class and technical ability on the field, earning the respect and admiration of fans and journalists. Robert Pires returned to the Premier League signing with Aston Villa for one year and went on to retire following a season playing in the Indian Premier League. He had a truly legendary career and will be remembered for his time at Arsenal where he became one of the best wingers in the world and whose achievements during the 49 unbeaten run will surely live on forever.